Using the graph below, Mackenzie is estimating the average rate of change over the interval 0 to 4. Which of the following is the best estimate for the average rate of change? So keep in mind that interval they gave us, 0 to 4. I'm going to highlight that down here. 0 to 4. And it looks like the graph is going from that point, roughly 0, 0, to somewhere around 20 almost. So in that range. So in a period, remember rate of change, is basically slope. And remember, slope can also be thought of as rise over run. In this case, it's moving up 20 over a period of roughly 4. Not 20 exactly, but roughly 20. And since we're just estimating, we're looking for that best estimate, we can use rough numbers here. So 20 over 4 is roughly 5, right? So the average rate of change in this problem is around 5. So we can go ahead and look at how closely that matches up with any of the answers down here. The negative answers don't work because those would indicate a negative slope, something pointing down instead of up. And then 1 you can see is a little too low and 8 is a little too high. So the best estimate for the average rate of change, even though it might not be perfect, is 4. 